So LEGO just revealed four new sets for the 2022 Batman movie. The first of which is the Batman Selina Kyle Motorcycle Pursuit, set 76179 with 149 pieces and it will be retailing for $15 American and $20 Canadian. The motorcycle designs actually look pretty good in this set. They're an appropriate size and they're well detailed. The set also includes a little bat signal there with a the spot for you to put a batarang and a grappling hook. And it actually says on the back of the box there that it's glow in the dark. So that's a neat little play feature. I also like how they include a spare Bruce Wayne head so that you can swap it out with Batman's. Now looking at the minifigures, Selina Kyle is kind of basic, not too much going on with her. But that new Batman figure looks really cool actually. He comes in all of these sets. But the printing looks so cool, like the armor printing. Just the only problem I have with this minifigure is that they're using the older style Batman cowl, not the newer one. Next we have set 76181, the Batmobile Penguin Chase with 392 pieces. And it'll be retailing for $30 American and $40 Canadian. I really don't like the design of this Batmobile actually in the actual movie. I think it looks kind of just like a sports car. The Lego design actually looks better, but I still don't really like it. It's got kind of a weird design, it just doesn't really feel like the Batmobile. And it also has these like weird uh, power blast pieces all over the place. I think those really detract from the build too. Now taking a look at the minifigures, the penguin design is actually really cool. He just looks too much like a normal person, not like the penguin. And then you have the same Batman design that comes in all three of the sets, except for the Technic set of course. But I just think they should have included an extra minifigure in this. I don't really know who they could have included since like the movie's not out yet, of course. But I just feel like for the $30, you're not getting your value with the minifigures. This is the last system set in the set 76183. The Batcave, the Riddler face-off with 581 pieces. And it'll be retailing for $80 American and $110 Canadian. This is a nice big playset design for the Batcave. The only thing I find kind of weird about it is it kind of looks like a train station with that kind of arch that goes over. In the middle there we have a nice supercomputer design with some stickered tiles. It actually turned out really well and it looks like on the floor you could slide it around I think. It might actually be removable, I'm not sure. But there's also like that kind of ramp under it where you could park the motorcycles. That's a cool little play feature. On the left, we have another panel with a map of Gotham. And then on the left, there's a kind of tool rack. I found this kind of weird, but in this one image, there's kind of like a seventh minifigure tucked in this cubby in the wall. It looks like some, I don't know, like an elf with a biker helmet. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but I guess you have a extra minifigure. On the topic of minifigures, this comes with six of them, or seven if we just include the one I just mentioned, the little dummy guy with the biker helmet. But these first three are Batman, uh, the Riddler, and Commissioner Gordon. Batman's the same as all the other sets. The Riddler design actually looks kind of weird. It's like this green suit. I don't know, there's something weird about it. But Commissioner Gordon has this really cool new minifigure. It looks really great. The next three minifigures are Selina Kyle, Alfred and then Bruce Wayne. Selena's Kyle is the same as the other set. This is a new Alfred design. I guess this is, this is what he's going to look like in the movie. He looks pretty cool. And then you also get this Bruce Wayne minifigure with an interesting outfit. who also looks pretty cool. The last set is the Technic Batmobile or as it's called the Batman Batmobile. Set 42127 with 1,360 pieces. And it'll be retailing for $100 American and $130 Canadian. I really have no interest in anything that's not minifigure scale, especially Technic sets. And this set's no different. I already said that I don't like the design of the Batmobile. And if I don't like the minifigure scale one, I'm definitely not going to like this Technic one. But I don't really have much else to say for this set. But that's pretty much it. And that's going to end the video.